Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Tracy Lamar Wright, a man missing from Fort Worth, Texas. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing, so Tracy can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has her email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. Tracy Lamar Wright, Wright, then 48, is missing from Fort Worth, Texas. His last date of contact was Tuesday, January 8th, 2019. He left Fort Worth and was planning to head to Marietta, Georgia. It's an 816-mile, 12-hour drive if he's not doing a lot of speeding. Uh, he was driving a white... 2012 Chevy Traverse, Texas license plates KXH8707. The investigating agency is the Fort Worth Police Department. They can be reached at 817-392-4442. The family put a post on Facebook that he may have been spotted in Flora, Mississippi, on January 22nd at a grocery store, but that sighting hasn't been confirmed. Also a quick note to that, uh, he, the Flora, Mississippi is, I think it was 14 miles off of Interstate 20. Interstate 20 is the most, let's say direct route. It's, it's right fairly pretty much the entire way there. I don't know if he, prefers the back roads that he would have ended up there or if he was planning to stay there for an extended period of time he was spotted there was it april hold on um january 22nd that was like three weeks two weeks after he went missing i thought it would have maybe been like within a day of uh being reported missing. So the 2012 Chevy Traverse gets 24 miles per gallon and it can hold 22 gallons of gas. So it could go about 528 miles if he's not speeding excessively. What I did with uh, this Google Earth video is I started at the 528 mark. I think it was Cuba, Alabama. I have to go back and watch the video. Uh, Cuba, Alabama, I wanted to go there because that's probably where he would have had to fill up first. Um, and then I wanted to do a five-mile perimeter look to see what I could find. There was uh, the T Timsuba Creek and behind the Cuba one stop, if he would have headed south on that road and taken the first right, there's like a little road that would take him back to a pond back there. That would have had to be more intentional if he was planning to do something. But for this episode, let's see here. So I wanted to take from Cuba back to Fort Worth so he could be anywhere along here. But usually it's within five miles of them stopping somewhere. He could have uh, had an accident right outside of Dallas. There's a really big lake, and I forget the name of it. But if he's not 
there just outside of Dallas somewhere, I would either then suspect Cuba or over to Marietta. Also something to think about is, is he accustomed to driving long distances? I can drive 18 hours, drop of a hat, doesn't faze me. If he's not used to it, he could get tired really fast and not recognize the changes that his body is going through to pull off to one of these rest areas and walk around a little bit and get the blood flowing again. Uh, let's see here, Florida, Mississippi. Yeah, so I'm curious if he prefers main roads or back roads. If any of his family members see this or somebody who knows him see this, please get a hold of me and let me know and I can work out a better search area. They, he did have great weather the entire trip there. It's about 12 hours from Fort Worth to, I think, Mississippi. I took a inquiry on the weather history there and then up to Marietta, Georgia. It was all the 70s, I want to say, the most of the entire time you would have been driving. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I have. Okay, so the... Major bodies of water to start the search will be the water behind the one stop in Cuba, Tumsuba Creek, Okatibi River, Burwell Creek, Tallahatta Creek, Turkey Creek, Strong River, the Pearl River, and the Big Black River. Then there's the Mississippi River. That is a very deep river, but we'll see what we can do. And there's a bunch of water just east of there. The Tensa River, the Set Bayou, Bayou Macon, Big Creek, uh, is that Boof River? I think it's Boof River. Oachuda River, and then there's water just west of Love's Travel S Stop. I think it's a town called Pleasant Grove in Louisiana, or it's... Pleasant Grove Baptist Church, I think is what, what I'd seen on there. And then there's water around the Dixie Inn. Then there's Red Chute Bayou. The Red River is connected to the Red Chute. The Sabine River and the Trinity River. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Give our video a thumbs up and share the movement with those you influence. Feel free to send us an email for cold case information if you'd like us to feature a missing person with a vehicle or to donate equipment, you are all so great at helping me grow this channel. Truly from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. 100% of the donations received stay in the organization to purchase sonar equipment and other necessities that will help families, law enforcement, and the environment for years to come. Your contributions from subscribing, watching our content, liking and sharing to the financial support make it all possible to offer our services free of charge. I've gotten a few emails from families of missing people who thought their loved ones were forgotten, but they see the movement. Just please know that ultimately I want to live a road warrior lifestyle with my boyfriend and reunite the families with their missing loved ones. We'll spend summers in the northern states, winters in the southern states, so we're always moving. Our first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers and you must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play so you can see the entire search area. You might see something that I missed and if you do, please let me know. Um, and then I'll do a part two video hopefully when I get some more information here. And then that video will cover from, oh my good Lord, Cuba, Alabama to Marietta, Georgia. So that's only just a fraction of what this video should be. But thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.
Thank you.